it became a expression for me after I had a severe accident injuring my head and my heart so that I was paralyzed on my right side and I couldn't speak or read or do any of the basic needs. I was in a coma after um, the original accident uh, for 19 days and they didn't expect me to live or to be able to do anything beyond a, a, a second grader. The quilting gave me a project, a, a something solid that I started and I made the decisions and I did it with my hands and I, I could finish it by myself. This gave me a feeling of, of healing because I can do things now. And during the slow process of all of these tiny stitches, I could bounce around ideas on how to talk to people and how to use words and to find words and ideas and emotions. Emotions were very hard to find a, an avenue because there seemed to be a wall that, that people couldn't understand in finding a process which gave me a reward of an accomplishment. I could um, and be receptive to other people and, and their joy. That, um, that was one of the first healing processes. When I would take pieces of quilt and and sometimes I'd throw them into the air and say, what can we do with this? And people would give me pieces that they no longer wanted. And I said, oh, the good recycling project. And so I started using um, materials that were given to me. First, it's, it's very intellectual in sorting out colors and pieces like that. But then as I put the pieces together, they start talking to me and say, oh, no, 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 that's not right. Or why don't you try this? And this is when it no longer becomes um, a chore. It becomes a delight because we're in communication. I think Anne has been volunteering at the kitchen ever since we've been in this building and perhaps a little bit longer before that. Uh, she actually donated a quilt to the kitchen, which is hanging in the dining room. I have shown people my quilts around the area, but this December was the first professional exhibit that I had, and to see 35 years of quilts from my recovery seemed to be so powerful. Honoring the fact that just like our ancestors, these women in the past who were doing these things, that Anne was taking fabric scraps and not wasting them and reusing and doing everything by hand. There's something so traditional about that that I think people really appreciated that. And then when you could talk to people, because the other part of this was that it gave us a chance to talk to people based on what we know of Anne and why she quilts, and to be able to talk to people about this was an emotional journey for her. Each of these pieces is a different emotional journey. And then there's like this epiphany with people, and there's a second double take. And then you see people kind of circulate around the room again, and there's this whole new appreciation for uh, her craft.